没有办法。What's up everyone, it's Kyle from Color Expression, back with another swatch and review. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new Christmas, that's Christmas without the H, collection from Holo Taco. So this collection consists of six new holographic glitter shades. All these shades perfectly fill in some of the gaps that we had in the Holo Taco glitter lineup, so I am so excited that these are here and released, and I can't wait to show them to you. Currently, the limited edition collector's box is still available if you want to purchase that from the Holo Taco site. It's available for $78 USD and comes with all six polishes for no additional charge, or you can also purchase each shade individually for $13 USD. And there's something a little bit different about this collection where it's not limited edition, but it's not permanent. It's actually seasonal. So that means that these are going to be around for a while, but not forever. And it's kind of like whenever they run out of stock, they might make a little bit more or they might not. And if the ingredients are available, they might come back next year, but it's a lot of ifs. So if you like any of the shades in this video, I definitely recommend grabbing them while you know that you can right now. If you don't know much about Holo Taco, they are an independent nail polish brand that is owned by fellow YouTuber Christine of Simply Nail Logical. They are vegan and cruelty free and their formula is five free. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video, then you should make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. And if you're interested in seeing some nail art with this collection, you should also give this video a like. All right, let's look at the box and get to these swatches. So looking at the limited edition collector's box, you can see yet again, we have beautiful packaging from Holo Taco. I love the holographic foil on this one and the accent of those black glitters on the back and on the front on the branding are just perfect. I love that they're doing these new and unique boxes every time. I think it's so cool. Look at how beautiful that glitter is. You can see as we start to open it up, we have our six polishes inside. And as we took the lid off, we get this reminder tis the season of giving yourself some hollow. So you can see just beautiful packaging. We have hollow everywhere. We have the boxes in that kind of foam packaging inside. So we know that everything stayed safe and snug during shipping. And I love that the formation of the boxes was kind of a, like a little Christmas tree. I thought that that was a cute addition. And then just look at this beautiful detail. I could, oh my gosh, I feel like I could just stare at this for hours, but we're not going to do that. We're going to swatch some new glitter pollen. So we're going to start out with a base coat and I did opt for a peely base just because these glitters are going to be a little bit difficult to remove over a long lasting base. So we're going to use peely so we can just, we can just pop them right off when we want. So going in rainbow order today, we will start out by looking at Naughty List, which unofficially is named Jingle Hell, and I kind of like that name better, so I might refer to it as that, but this is Naughty List, which is a beautiful deep red scattered holographic shade, and all of these you'll see in this video, they kind of have the same formula where it's either a lightly tinted or tinted jelly base, and then in that base we have multiple colors and sizes of holographic glitter, so in this one we have have some red glitters that are a little bit bigger and then we have small ones that I think are silver and just so many different colors but I did want to mention I find it easiest to get glitter polish off your skin when it's still wet so I came in real quick with that cleanup brush just to get those few glitters off before the polish dried and then now we are continuing on with our third coat which I did do three coats for every shade in this video I felt like that really built up good coverage and just gave a nice full look and this is with a coat of glossy top coat and then we also have shots with flash because you really need like flash to see hollow glitter in its true glory so i wanted to start trying to include those in my videos for you guys and then in the full hand shot you can get the full effect of this red polish you can see it almost looks like rubies on the nails between those hollow glitters and that deep red base it's just absolutely gorgeous so i'm so happy that hollow taco added this one i wish it was permanent because i love this red i think it's so pretty and so holographic 
Next up is gold play button, which I didn't know that I needed all this gold nail polish until Holo Taco started making it this year. I am a total fan. So we have this one, which is a scattered holographic glitter polish again, and this one, the base is much more sheer. I'd say it's just barely tinted. We have like a little bit of a yellow going on in there, but combined with the amount of hollow glitter in this polish, it, it doesn't even matter. It could be a clear base, and this one's still gonna build up so beautifully the layering of this one you can just see all those layers beneath and all this glitter it's so stunning as you build this one up it's like it's royal almost because of the gold and I don't know I just I felt really fancy wearing this one so I'm a huge fan of the shade again I built it up in three coats and you can see that that covered up the nail line it created this full effect over the whole nail and again with the flash you can really kind of see how that hollow actually glitters in person and in the sun and stuff so I just I love that about this one and in the full hand you can see just a beautiful shade and this this one is much warmer than frozen bananas if you got that one which obviously frozen that sounds like a, a cooler gold but this is a nice warm gold that it's it's holographic it's beautiful it's so stunning and I really think it would look good on anyone so if you like gold polish I totally say you should grab this one Next up is Everything is Pine, which you can see in the bottle is an emerald green nail polish. This one has a green tinted jelly base again, so you can see in that base we have a bunch of different types of hollow glitter. We have green ones, we have silver ones, we have large and small, and all those things combined just, they come together to create such a beautiful shade, but the thing I really love about this one is because we get a little bit more pigment in this jelly base, as you build it up, the glitters below start to become a little bit more green and kind of like almost more pigmented than they were. So you can see they just get deeper as we keep going and then when the light shines through that green base onto the glitters underneath it just it looks so cool because we have hollow but with green over it and I don't know that's just not something I guess I've ever really seen so it looks so unique to me it's so cool I love this finished nail like look at it with the flash that's just oh my gosh it is insane and then in the full hand you can kind of see what I meant where it's hollow through green like I feel like when I tilt my fingers back you can almost see it's it's holographic but it kind of gives this golden green rainbow instead of the normal rainbows I don't know I think it's so cool and so beautiful I am a a huge fan of this shade. Next up is Plum Luck, which let me tell you, this one completely ended up being my favorite of this collection. The purple base that we get with then maroon hollow glitters and silver hollow glitters, it just layers up to create such a beautiful finished nail. It's not something I ever would have thought combining in a polish would look this good, but I'm absolutely blown away. So you'll see as we layer it up, kind of like the last one, the the tinted base is going to change the color of the previous layers glitters and I think that that's what makes these polishes so special because every nail it's going to be a little bit unique a little bit different because some of those maroon glitters will have two coats of purple over them or one or none they'll be in the top layer and then there's silver glitter with purple or not and you just get all these different things combining to create look at that I don't know I like I barely even have words and then with the flash it's so sparkly so shiny I am just blown away like this one it, it, they knocked it out of the park with the shade the combination of those unique colors and in this finish I'm just completely obsessed like I literally want six bottles of this one because it might never come back so I don't know I'm trying not to let my hoarder tendencies creep in but I am obsessed with this nail polish Next up is Choco Hollow, which to be honest, I didn't think I would love this one as much as I ended up loving this one. We have a brown jelly base that has golden holographic glitters in it. And again, just such a unique combination of things that we're, we're not seeing things like this out there. Like I love that Hollow Taco really took ingredients that are readily available and put them together in such a way where each shade is gonna look so fresh and new 
and unique and so special with these high quality hollow glitters we get such beautiful finished nails oh my gosh I could just I could rant and rave all day about the quality of this stuff because we all know it I'm a huge hollow taco fan I love their products but we built this one up in three coats and you can see with a top coat we just we get that nice smooth gloss and all that hollow glitter and like I said with the flash it just really lights up the sparkliness of that hollow glitter so you'll see that more in person like outside or if you put your phone flash on because I do that all the time when I have a hollow on but in this full hand you can just see what a perfect shade this is like truly not anything I don't think anyone expected this not the hollow detectives like I don't think anyone was expecting a brown hollow and then here they came with just a, a perfect brown hollow and I am so here for it to finish out the collection, we will look at Black Hollow Wish, which true to its name is a black scattered holographic polish. So as with the other shades in this collection, we're going to build it up in three coats, but real quick, I loved how on this first coat, it really looked like salt and pepper on the nail. I thought that that was so cute, but you can really see all those silver glitters in here as well as the black ones, which I love that Hollow Taco did that. Instead of just packing a bunch of black hollow glitter in to a black base which I'm sure even if they did that it would have looked stunning but the addition of those small silver glitters and those large silver glitters in the end and in each layer as you add those onto the nail they create such a dimension you'll see once I'm actually wiggling my finger in the light you can see just those big glints of rainbow from that big silver glitter and all those tiny teeny ones looking like stars or something and with the flash that's just unreal like who are we what is this what what are they doing to us i don't even know this is a conspiracy it's just it's too gorgeous i can't handle this one i love this polish i would definitely say this one the brown the purple they all kind of tied for my favorite i think obviously i like dark hollow shades something about the way that the rainbow shines through on those just it speaks to my heart but i really do think that this whole collection was gorgeous i think that they did an amazing job on every single one of these shades now that we've seen all these shades in their hollow glory, let me know in a comment down below which one was your favorite and did you purchase this whole collection or just a few of the shades. I also want to hear your thoughts on the seasonal aspect of this release because it's new for Hollow Taco to do that and I think it's kind of exciting that we could maybe get more creative things in the future with this seasonal title instead of like them feeling like they have to constantly keep everything in stock that they ever make. So I don't know, that's my thoughts on it, but I want to know what you guys think. Like I mentioned before, make sure that your notifications are turned on for the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also linked down below is my Twitter and Instagram and some discount codes if you guys want to use those. So check out the description. There's a bunch of fun stuff in there, but I think that's going to be it for this one today. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Really, camera? You think this is what you're supposed to be doing? All right. I think I have to go block the door. I think it's fine. Really? I think it's fine. Okay. Oh.